Hello, welcome to JD's Prep. And for this question, parallelogram ABCD is shown below. The bisectors of ABC and DCB meet at E, a point on AD. Because it's a bisector, I know that this angle here, ABE, is congruent to this angle here, CBE. I also know that because that um, CE is a bisector, right, I know that this angle, let me get a different color here, is congruent to that angle there. Okay, so first thing, measurement of angle A is 68 degrees, so let's fill that in. Because the measurement of A is 68 degrees, and this is a parallelogram, right, so opposite angles are going to be congruent, so if A is 68, then that means that angle C is also 68 degrees. And so if we look at angle C, it's split directly in half by that bisector, CE. So each of those halves are going to be 34 degrees because it's half of 68. So this is going to be 34 degrees, and this is going to be 34 degrees. Okay. What we're trying to find is angle BEC. Okay. So what we're going to be doing is now that I know, right, A is 68, and each of those, right, ECB and DCE are both 34. Now let's look to see what other angles we can find. So this is a parallelogram, meaning there's two parallels, right? And so we can use alternate interior angles to label some other angles, right? So alternate interior, if this is 34, then so is this one. 34 degrees. Okay. Now I know that, that I have a triangle here, right? All right, let me outline it. Here's a triangle here. And the measures of an angle of a triangle are 180 degrees. So if I have 34 and 34, right, that's 68, I can find angle D, right? Because the measurement of angle DEC plus the measurement of angle ECD plus the measurement of angle D has to be 180 because it's a triangle, right? And so these are each 34 degrees. So I can find the measurement of angle D to be 112 degrees. So now we can fill that in. So if D is 112, again, right, opposite angles are congruent into parallelogram. So opposite of that, that means that angle B is also 112 degrees, right? And angle B is bisected. So each one of those is half of 112, which means that each piece here is 56 degrees. So now we can find the piece that we need angle BEC. Because again, we have a triangle here, right? Let's look right here. Here, here, and there. And I know the sum of the angles of my triangle has to be 180 degrees. So 56 degrees is what I know. I know 34 degrees in that triangle. And the measurement of angle BEC, which is what we're trying to find, has to add up to 180 degrees. Which means that angle BEC has to be 90 degrees.